Hey guys, Josh here, and iOS 14 will be coming sometime this fall along with some new iPhones, and it looks like we're going to get a lot of new features with the release. So according to Mac rumors, it looks like Apple will finally improve its messages. You may now be able to tag contacts with their name during a conversation in iMessage to either send a specific notification to them only or to add them to a chat. This could be useful in large group chats where you may only want to be notified when you are mentioned by name. And apparently Apple has also been testing a feature that will allow you to retract an iMessage after sending it, which I'm sure is something that we've all wanted to do at some point. However, the person receiving the message will still be able to see that you retracted it. This could either be launched initially with iOS 14 or as a software update sometime after the launch. Now, based on some iOS source code that 9to5Mac got their hands on, we will also get an update to the user interface to include a list view option that lets you see all of your installed apps in one place. We have seen some mockups of this feature, but most of these look more like the app container on an Apple Watch and don't really seem like a great use of space on an iPhone. I think it will look a lot less like modal content and possibly something similar to the Android app drawer. There was also a report that there will be some new camera hardware on both the iPhone 12 and iPad Pro. So we may be getting a time of flight 3D sensor, which means better accuracy when measuring the distance from the camera to other objects. The addition should be a big improvement to portrait mode by being able to differentiate better between the foreground and the background. Apple is also reportedly developing an AR app that will let people point their phone at items in a store to get more information about the item. It appears that this feature will launch with Starbucks and the Apple Store, and then they'll add more retailers after. The source code also contained information about a new iPhone with Touch ID, which confirms designs that we've seen of a budget iPhone 9. It is likely that this is scheduled to ship this September, but given the current health situation, I expect that there could be some delays to that. There will also be a new accessibility feature that will allow the iPhone to listen for sounds like door knocks, doorbells, fire alarms, and sirens. So iOS will translate these alerts into haptics for people with hearing loss or just anyone who opts in for the alerts. There will also be updates to wallpapers, adding different categories and possibly allowing third parties to integrate their own wallpaper collections right into the settings. One thing that I would really like to see in iOS 14 is a bottom to top approach to the home page so that apps don't snap to the top, but rather let you put the ones that you use the most at the bottom. This way you don't have to fill up the entire view first. It would make one-handed use much more user-friendly, or they could at least give it as an option for the home page between that and classic mode. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. We will likely get a developer beta of iOS 14 in June during WWDC, which of course is completely online now, and we'll get to see some more features there. I'll get my hands on that as soon as it's available, so if you wanna see more videos on that, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. And that wraps it up. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, be sure to smash that like button as it helps out a lot. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.